Yes. Ah! Stop! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> He's hungry. Ah! He's looking at me, looking at his food dish, looking at me. It's like, this one is freaking stupid. Why doesn't it understand that I am hungry? Butters, sir. Sir Butters. What is wrong? Is it starving? Is it emaciated? Is it wasting away? Oh, he's gonna eat himself. Is it dinner time? I think it's dinner time. Is the beanie hungry? Hmm? Is he hungry? It's the food time. Is it food time? Is he hungry? Ready for round two? I'm ready to close the blinds for the day and he's like, no! Do you want to look out? You gotta tell me. Okay. You shouldn't feel too bad out there today. Birds are telling you good night. They could have go to bed. And then the bats will come out. My little buddy chilling with me. Clean his tail. And so you coming to me? <clears throat> but a baby. I'm doing an at home blood glucose test today on him and his poor little ears. Because I'm not poking him hard enough to actually make him bleed enough to get a sample. I have to keep jabbing him and he moves and my hands are sweaty and it's been our struggle. We got three readings so far, they're all a bit high. Still got some more to go today. I'm sorry, he even hissed at me for one of them. Cause I'm always afraid when I jab him through that like it's actually gonna go through his ear. That's what I'm afraid of if I jab too hard. Bushy, you still come to me? Probably won't after the day's over, cause you'll hate me. And it's like, don't want to send him to the vet to have it done because that's going to cause him even more trauma because he's still going to have to have getting poked. But there he's having a stranger do it in a weird place that's scary. So it's bad he has it done here. I just want you to love me. Don't want to associate me with pokes.
Alright, Beanie just did another poke, another check. It's holding steady, but it's high, so I suspect you're like probably gonna probably going to have to go up a little bit. Where did I poke you? Right there. Yeah, it's like the vet text said like, you know, the stuff will scab over and you'll be able to just, you know, scrape away the scab and it'll you get it from the spot, but I tried and only got a teeny bit out of one of them. Not enough to read, so I had to poke him again. Luckily this time, he only took me two tries and he didn't get up. That one went relatively easy. We're supposed to, we're supposed to check it like every like two or so hours. So he has another few more to go. I'm not gonna, if he keeps holding steady then, you know, he does what it is. I'm sorry, you did good though this time and I did good. You can go back to sleep. I feel so guilty. I don't like hurting him. You know, it's one. There, there, you can see the little. The little red mark there at the top. It's one thing to give him his insulin, because you give that in the back of the, um. At the neck, you lift up, like the mom would, does carrying the babies, the extra skin in the back. You lift that up. And you shove the needle in there. And they don't seem to... They don't really feel it. And if they do, it's not much. So that isn't hard to give him at all. This, I know, actually, you know, stings. And I don't like the causing pain. But at least you're not at the vet getting pain. As I have to keep remember telling myself... He's gonna get jabbed, <laughs> whether he's home or he's there, and at least here he can feel safe and be comfortable between readings. But I feel guilty. Egg. Look who showed up to help me. He went potty and decided to stay. Looking out the door. Yeah, you're the boy. He's like, help me, help me. <laughs> yes. Oh, my. What are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? Nope, he's laying on everybody. Come to me up. You doing? You happy? You're not going to be happy in a little bit. Oh, butters. Butters. I don't know your face. You're such a good boy. <laughs> baby face. You have a baby face.
I was like, she's probably just as embarrassed as you are. Oh yeah, yeah, I got interrupted by the, I don't, I'm filming. I just got interrupted by the um, neighbor for filming Fritter. <laughs> she came running, whipping a towel around, and saw me stand up with a camera, and I was like, I'm filming a chipmunk. <laughs> she, oh, and I closed the door. <laughs> but I just looked outside, I didn't have the camera at this point, and there was a hummingbird, a freaking hummingbird at the flowers, and of course it's gone now. I've never seen a hummingbird in this part, in these parts. I was like, oh my god, because I saw something big fluttering. I thought it was like a big butterfly or dragonfly, but it was a little hummingbird. Then I tried to get his last ear poke, but he didn't let me, and his little ears are red, so I said, screw it. It probably isn't much difference anyway. Stop scratching your ear. If you get blood from there, I'm stealing it. Make it easy. But I'm going to leave him alone now. He did not like that comment. No, he didn't. He doesn't like it to keep trying to steal his blood. <laughs>